Welcome to another bar class. We are going to work and focus on the posterior chain today, um, also doing anti-rotational um, core work. So uh, let's get started. All you're gonna need today is um, light weights or like you know, a couple of cans of beans or um, bags or water bottles or just something that's going to add a little bit of weight just maybe one pound is really all you need and then if you have any paper plates um, great especially if you have carpet if you are working out on hardwood floors you will need um, just some socks uh, for um, the beginning and kind of the end so I'm going to use because I found these I'm cleaning out my junk closet um, some furniture sliders so um, instead of paper plates because I don't have any paper plates. All right, so let's get started. So just stand with your toes spread, lifting up, and then bring them all the way down. I'm going to face this way on my mat, but you can also use a towel. We're going to inhale up. And then exhale, you're going to dive down. This is the first, if this is a morning exercise, you want to take these feet a little bit further apart, bend your knees, and then come all the way down right here into a high plank. And we're not going to be here for long. We're just going to start with a slow push-up, just 10 really slow push-ups. I like to take my hands a little bit wider um, than my shoulders, and then take those shoulders and shrug them down your back. And we're just going to take this down and down, press it up and up for down, up, up. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five. Feel free to do these on your knees, four, especially if you want to get a bigger range of motion, two, and one. Now, this is where we're going to need your furniture sliders or your paper plates. Just take them and put them underneath your toes. Come into a low plank right here. And then to come up to a, um, just on your knees to start. And if you have that, those abs pulled in, the belly button comes up to your spine and you're hugging the rib cage into your core. And then right here, turn those palms up, hold it 10, nine, eight, six shrug those shoulders down your back squeeze those shoulder blades into pockets now we're going to take this right leg and just sweep it out and in out and in out out if you want to bend your knees get a little oblique work three two hold it here left leg take it out and in out and a little close to the wall. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of those sliders, tuck your toes, and then we're going to come up one arm and then the next arm without rotating. Keep your hip points shining right down to the floor. Here we go. Ten push ups. Down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it slowly down. You can take your feet a little bit wider apart and then lower down to the forearms. Bring those toes back onto those furniture sliders or the paper plates. Or if you have socks, you're good. Now we're going to just slowly bring these knees into your chest and then extend back. Bring them in and then back. Bring them in and back. In. Four. Three, really hugging your belly into your spine. Two. And one. Take it down, take those feet off, the sliders, come up. Here we go. Last set of push-ups. Come to your knees, 
bring your hands in a little bit closer. We're going to come forward and then tricep push-ups just for eight, warming up these triceps, the back of the arms, the posterior chain. And one, come all the way back, reach back, circle your wrists out, and put this furniture sliders or paper plates off for a second. And we're going to come up to a standing, grab your weights, come into a wide second, sink down. So we're going to be working these thighs as we're doing our arms. So get like a two for one. Zip up your belly from midline all the way through the pelvic wall, up, up, up through the spine, through the chin, through the top of the head. Someone is pulling a string on your head to keep you nice and tall. We're going to take this right arm and pull it in right here to your chest. This elbow is out wide. This left arm is going to come straight out. You're going to aim for about right about your left thigh or knee. I'm going to press, press this right hand towards your left thigh. Down, pull back. So again, we're focusing on the posterior chain. So I really like for you to take an extra second to squeeze that elbow, wrap it around your back. It's four, three, two. Hold this elbow up, just the left arm down. It's up, down, up, slow. So not letting momentum or gravity control, you're controlling this arm down and up. I need four, three, two, one. Now run at a time, take it right punch, left arm floats down, right arm punch, back, down punch, down, punch, down, punch. We're going to add both of these alternating a little faster. Punch, down, punch, down, punch. Good. I need five more. It's five. Squeeze back. Four. Pull back. Three, two, one, now both together, take them down, pull back, like a bow and arrow. I've never shot a bow and arrow, but I imagine like in the cartoons, this is what it looks like. Pulling back, ripping that bow back. Two, and one, hold it here, open this right arm. Now just little pulses, back, back, little circle pulses. Four. Three. Now for the second set, I want you to go a little bit lower down, bend this left elbow in, pull the abs in. It's punch, pull back, punch, pull back, eight, pull back, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep that elbow up nice and high, one, now just the right arm floats down, up, you're controlling this. Down, down, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're getting ready to do one at a time. Alternating, punched with his left. Punch, right arm floats down. Here you go. Punch, back, lower. Punch, pull back, lower. One more time, slow. We're going to speed this up. Here we go. It's punch and down. Punch. Good. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right here together. Back, open, down. So meeting together just on the right side of your right thigh. Pull back. It's four. Three. It's two. 
It's one, take it up. This time, turn the palms to the ceiling and a little rotation or a little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, down with those shoulders. Just shrug the shoulders back and around. Now, heel toe, we're gonna stay in this thigh squat, but we're just gonna bring these feet in closer together. So I'm gonna be 90 degrees, hinging forward 90 degrees. My feet are about two fists apart, holding onto these cans of weight or water bottles, pull over right here. So 45 degrees, hug that belly in, and that tailbone's gonna come down just a tiny bit. Bring these elbows up and then reach back. <clears throat> so it's a little bend, reach back, accentuate the extension, squeeze back. You don't even need any weights with this. If you focus so hard on contracting the back of that muscle, we're gonna isolate it in just three and you will feel it too and hold it back here on one. Now squeeze, reach the shoulders back right and left, hold it here. For you advanced people out there, you can come up to your toes, just lifting the heels up and little pulses up. Two, and hold it here, just squeeze in, squeeze. You're squeezing the back of the arms. So I really like to work out the triceps. It's what gives your arms shape. It's kind of, we don't use it every day unless you're playing a lot of sports. Mostly use your biceps and chest. So we're gonna really have to concentrate on working back there. Now hold it here. We're gonna lift it up, squeeze it in, up and squeeze. So a little combo, up, squeeze. Four, squeeze. Three, squeeze two, squeeze, one, hold it here, just circle up and around, up and around. We're almost finished. And we're gonna reverse it, it's eight, the upper. So you're tracing a golf ball right now behind you. You're squeezing the back of the arm so hard. Those arms are so straight. Now right here, we're just soften, extend and hold. Soften, extend and hold, soften, extend. Bend and reach. Bend and reach back, reach back. It's three, it's two, it's one. Bring it down to the floor right here. Staying on your hands and knees. We're gonna put both weights into one hand. So you're at a table. Pull the belly in and reach this right arm back. So if you don't have, if you can't get two water bottles obviously around, so you can just stick with one, but just reach and extend. Reach and extend, reach and extend. So we're doing one at a time, helps you really focus and isolate that one muscle. Two, and then one right here. Back to squeezing it in. Six, seven, hold it here. Just lift it up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Combo, here we go, it's in an inch up an inch, squeeze in, up. So what I want you to focus on is the back of that right arm, or if you happen to be with your left arm, back of that arm, and extending the elbow so there's no bend, or it's imperceivable to me and to you. Right here, last little bend and stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, don't worry, we're gonna stretch in a second. Right hand comes down, left hand grabs, pull back. I'll turn this way so you can see. Extend, so you're just reaching it back. So it's the bend and stretch, bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Two, hold it right here, squeeze it in, 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 for three, for two, hold it here, lift it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, it's a combo. It's a then, bring it in, then lift, bring it in and lift, in and lift, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one, right here, just 
bend and stretch much smaller very tiny bend and stretch bend and reach for four it's three it's two it's one good job bring it all the way down to the floor right now so bring it all the way back like i said i really love triceps so we're going to take these weights these water bottles in your hand bring them down by your side forehead's going to come to this mat inhale wrap the shoulder blades around you put the shoulder blades in those little pockets behind you you're going to turn your thumbs going out wide like a hitchhiker reach these arms up right here you can take your head up a little bit and then just reach and lift reach and lift reach and lift reach and lift so we're working these postural muscles these erector spinae muscles behind you i want you to really think about lengthening the neck here don't let those shoulders come up by your ears hold it right here squeeze it in eight seven six five four three two one take this in and circle in and circle in and circle four it's three it's two can you take these butt cheeks squeeze them together as you flip those palms up we're going to come up one inch higher looking still straight at your mat and just lift maybe you'd like to add some a little lift for your feet. So we're doing glute work now. And erect your spinae muscles, the tiny little postural muscles that run up and down your spine. And then these triceps. And then hold it here. Squeeze it in, in, in. Take it eight, seven, six, five, four. We have circles. Hang in there. Circles and it's done. Finish with little circles. Eight, seven, six, five four three two and one place those weights to the side we're going to roll over onto your side bring your knees into a 90 degrees you're going to rest your head on your um, arm bring your weight in nice and tight to your hip bone or right in front of your hip bone now place the elbow on your hip bone or your waist and just like a drill you're drilling this into your body so it's not going to move just the forearm i want this wrist to stay super super strong so no letting the wrist wave in the air so grab onto your weight pull your belly in squeeze those butt cheeks together and it's lift and lower lift so we're just isolating this posterior delt we didn't really work it with those first shoulder exercises it's kind of awkward it's kind of hard to get to and this starts off really nice so you're just appreciating your range of motion and you're paying extra close attention to your wrist and how it's just an extension of your forearm now we're gonna hold it up we're gonna lower down for two counts and then up for two lower for two up down up down it's up down Hold it right here, just pulse, pulse. We're gonna do that one more time, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Start with this full range. Reach back, then slowly lower. Then powerful reach back, slow lower. So anytime you're moving with gravity, you really wanna control your movement. Reach up reach up we're going to hold it down right here we're going to open up two three then lower down up two three lower down three two three lower down four two three good up two three one more we're going to stay at midline up two three come to midline little pulses for eight seven six five four three two and one we're going to flip over and do the other side real quick so this is a small mus muscle this posterior delt so you don't need a lot of weight and we don't want to over fatigue it because then the other arm muscles try to take over so you're not being a hero if you just are just powering through and it's so so painful i want you to drop the weight if it gets too painful and just go through the movement with me grab this weight and it's lift and lower It's up for four, up for five, 
up for six. So focusing on these posterior delts because I have been spending a lot more time at my computer getting caught up with some work and my shoulders I notice are starting to roll forward. Hold it right here, it's down two, it's lift two. Lower for two, it's lift. So to strengthen those muscles, to help with my posture, to pull those shoulders back behind the back, we need these posterior delts and the rhomboids and these um, other shoulder muscles that help maintain healthy shoulders two, and on one, we're going to hold it here, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now, switching it up a little bit, first come all the way up and then slow down. Check out your wrist. Make sure that it's not moving. It's staying nice and alignment with the rest of the forearm. If this is too much, you simply drop the weight and you go through the motion with no weight at all. You'll still feel it too. We're going to take it down. We're going to open up one, two, three, lower. Open, two, three, it's lower. Open, two, three, slow down, up, two, three. We have two more, five, two, three. This is six, two, three. We're going to hold it halfway, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release that, move that weight out of the way. So we're going to do um, a couple more quads. We have our quads warmed up um, by doing the first couple exercises. So we're just going to do some isolating quad muscles on the floor. And then reach this arm around, maybe reach it behind you, and then behind you again. So reach this opposite arm across, stretch out, then up, bring it down your back, then maybe bring it around right here. Both arms come behind your back and then open up your chest, big breath in, and then exhale. We're going to come down to a straight, um, sitting straight. Your legs are straight in front of you. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see, but we're going to start with um, the right leg. You can bend this left leg. You can have it off to the side. We're only going to focus on this right quad and the inner quad. So depending on your hip flexor and depending on how long your legs are, it's all about proportion here. It depends how high you're going to raise this leg. So if you're super long legs like I am, maybe you're not going to be able to raise that leg very high. I want you to pay close attention. This, this work should not be coming from your hip flexor. It should be coming from the belly of your quad. So you can always adjust your arms when you start to feel it in your hip flexor. Start with pointing this right foot and then opening this leg right here. So now the inner thigh is facing the ceiling. We're just going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, two, hug that belly in, one right here. Rotate that foot. Take this up and down and down. Just for four more, just for eight and eight, three, two, and now we're going to combo. We're going to open up that inner thigh when we sweep it out, then close it when we come back. Open up, sweep it back. Open up, sweep back. Sweep it four. Sweep it three. Sweep it two. See so it one, hold it right here. We're going to trace a little circle. So we're not staying long for quads because like I said, I really want to focus on the posterior chain today. So this is it for your quads. So give it all you've got. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right here, we're just going to bend and stretch, bend and reach, bend and stretch, bend and stretch for four, for three, for two, for one, we're going to hold up as high as we can. Hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. So real quick, we're just going to do a little stretch here by pulling this um, uh, heel back by your hip and then lean back. Square your hips, square your shoulders. Press this knee down towards the floor. Big breath in 
exhale one more breathe in and exhale sweep it around so this left leg is going to start we're going to start with this inner thigh facing the ceiling and we're lifting up 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 it's four it's three it's two, hold it right here, turn that foot around, lift it eight, seven, six, five, four. Focusing in the belly. If it's here in the, in the hip flexor, you're gonna lower the leg or come back here. Right here, we're gonna combine, open, inner thigh, close with this leg, quad closed. Open, use the inner thigh, close, use that middle quad. Open and close. This is also a really good knee strengthener. Your legs are almost perfectly straight. Just another imperceivable bend. Two, hold it out right here, lift, 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 lift. And circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two one hold you just bend and stretch bend and stretch six five four three two hold it right here lift this leg as high as you can hold it eight seven six five four three two one let's stretch it out right there pull that knee pull that heel close by to your hip take a second just pick up your hips so you can square those hips so you're not cattywampus Elbows down, raise that chest up, squeeze, point that knee to the floor. Big breath in, exhale. Big breath in, exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. We're gonna come over onto your back and we're gonna do some ab core work. So we'll start, I'll start here and onto your a little mic issue um, onto your back and this is going to just create we're going to create it's not going to be difficult movements but we're going to try to keep tension in our abs the entire time so we're going to pick big inhale exhale and you're going to raise this left leg up then you're going to raise this right leg up so it's going to be right here 90 degrees it feels really comfortable to bring them i call this home but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna press them out, and now there's like a little small of the back, a little arch here. I'm gonna press that arch into the floor. Try to imprint your spine into this mat. Hands are gonna come behind your head right here, and you're gonna lift up and close. Lift up and down. So it's a lift all the way up, and you're just gonna go halfway down. So we're never gonna go back all the way down. We're gonna try to keep this head and the shoulders off the floor for the rest of the time. Just less than four minutes. Two, it's one, hold it here, and then reach a little higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reach, hold here, grab behind your thighs, come up a little higher, and then up again to halfway down. Up to halfway down, up. And just check to make sure that these knees haven't creeped, crept in. They're staying right above your hip. It's four. It's three. It's two. It's one. Hold eight, seven, six, five. Now just let your fingertips support your neck and the base of the skull. And we're going to take this right leg, touch, and then bring it back. And then we're going to take the left leg down and touch. So really focus on imprinting your spine as you do this. Take it slow, it's lift, slow, lift, good. Try to get that chest a little higher. Reach, reach, now take it left, good. Just hold it left, left knee's coming up and down. We're gonna add this right elbow in four, in three, in two, Hold it here. We're just going to take this down and reach. Down, cross over, cross, cross, cross. 
Hold the cross, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back center, just this right leg. Take it down, it's lift. Down, down. Press that spine into the floor. That's engaging those transverse abdominals, your deepest abdominals. And we're gonna add this elbow to the knee. Take it down, cross, down, cross. So the knee's not coming in any closer. It's my elbow really reaching a little higher. Two, hold it here, right here. Take it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now reach right here, come back center, clasp your hands behind your thighs, reach up a little higher, and we're gonna just go, so I have a little knot here that's really painful, and we're gonna just take it right and left. So if this is again too painful on your neck, right here we're just alternating. You can take your right hand and just stay with your left for eight, and then you can just switch it to do the opposite hand towards the heel, here we go. Just reach it eight. So I'm just engaging these obliques. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now for the bonus, both toes to come down. They touch when we come up. They touch and you come up. It's down, it's a reach up, it's down. So the tricky part is to keep the spine on the floor as you lower those toes. Three, two, it's one. Hold it right here and it's little, see if you're a little marching out. Your shoulders are still off the floor, your head's still off the floor. We're taking it eight, seven, like you're imagining walking across hot coals. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And now reach those toes up further towards the end of the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull it all the way in. Nice job. We're gonna just roll back and forth. Now, now is the time to squeeze these knees into home. And we're just gonna crisscross over and come over to your hands and knees. So we're gonna start with a little glute work. Um, if you have the water bottle that you'd like to use, great. If you have the weight, then I'd love for you to use that. We're just gonna put it behind your knee. So we're gonna come into all four, a table just like this. So now really focusing on this posterior back. Put that weight behind your right. Shrug those shoulders down your back. And with this right knee squeezing onto this weight, we're gonna hug, bring it up, 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 up. And you're squeezing it in as tight as you can. If this has a tendency to hurt your wrists or if you hurt your lower back, you're gonna lower down to your forearms. Keep squeezing that weight in. And we're just gonna lift 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 we're going to do just 16 little pulses so we have eight more to go seven six five four three two one take a lift squeeze this weight lift squeeze this weight if you don't feel like using a weight you're going to squeeze your imaginary weight lift squeeze your weight it's four it's three it's two it's one, now bring it slow down, tap that knee, bring it slowly back up. Moving through water, super controlled. It's a purposeful movement, very intentional. Engaging this right glute and right hamstring. Two, hold it up on one. Now you're gonna flex this foot and lift, 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 lift. Shrug those shoulders down. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Lift and squeeze this weight. Take it, lift, squeeze this weight. 
lift, squeeze this weight, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. See if you can marry those butt cheeks together. So you're engaging both glutes together. And right here, slow motion. Take it down, down, lift it up, up, lower down. Lift it up, lower down, lift it up. I like just to imagine your body just moving through jello or honey so you have something to resist it. Hold it up right here on one, and we're going to open that knee and close. Open the right knee and close. Open and close. Open. So start with this foot pointed again. Open and close. Open. So opening that knee up, you're getting more into this glute meads. Glute meads is what helps keep your hips healthy and gives you that little dancer's dent in your glute muscle. Hold it right here. Just lift, 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 lift. Really squeeze that muscle. Just think of it like a, a fist, maybe like an apple-sized fist, just squeezing and contracting. You, the, do not need, you do not need big movements in bar or in Pilates. It's just the how you are squeezing and concentrating on that muscle. I like to say maximize the squeeze but minimize that movement. Now, here we go. We're going to flex the foot, open and close that knee. So right now, you can pretty much say hello to those glute meats. We have four more, and then we're just going to pulse. And hold it right here, and just pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're hugging the belly into the spine, knitting those ribs in nice and tight and close help stabilize the core and help stabilize that spine and so you're able to isolate just that area just like we wanted to and one bring it all the way down real quick stretch you're just going to come back into a child's pose we just worked that right side so you just might want to lean a little bit into that right side i like to just bring my hands over to the left deep stretch inhale exhale and come down. So we'll do the opposite side. This weight's going to come behind this left knee. You can stay high in table or you can bring it down to your forearms. Point this toe and slowly start to squeeze this glute muscle as you raise this knee as high as you can. Pull the belly in and we're just going to little pulses here. So pay attention to these shoulders and tuck them into the spine behind you. I need eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it right here and squeeze. It's lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift. Think about back to that hugging that rib cage in, knitting those ribs even tighter, and it helps protect the lower back. Pull the belly in, shrugging those shoulders help. Um, get the traps out of this movement. Trapezius is like to help a lot when they're not really invited. Hold it here. We're going to slowly lower it down and then bring it up. Take it down and up. So I like to use this with a water bottle or a weight behind your knee because it's guaranteed that you're squeezing this weight and that's engaging that hamstring while we're working these glutes. It's two. We're going to repeat that whole sequence again, but now flex that foot. Little pulse. Lift, lift, lift. It's six. It's five. It's four. It's three. It's two. It's one. It's eight. Lift and squeeze. Seven. Lift and squeeze. Six. Lift and squeeze. You're marrying both butt cheeks together, so even that right leg that's stabilizing you, it's engaged. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Right here. Open and close. Open. Let's point that toe. Open. 
Say hello to the left glute knee. Four, four, open. It's three, open. Two, hold it right here. Now a little lift, eight. So you're already starting in that. When you open that leg, you can really feel that contraction. And then you're just taking it. Um, you're dialing it up to 11, I like to say, because you're lifting that leg that's already at its like fullest contraction, but it's a small lift. You're minimizing this movement, maximizing this squeeze for four, for three, for two, for one. Flex the foot, close and open. Think about like a little arc, a little quarter part of a little half rainbow here. Open and close. I need four. I need three, I need two, hold it here on one, little pulses, just lift, 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 intentional lift, intentional pulling the belly in, intentional squeezing those shoulder blades so stubbornly down your back, it's four, sorry, I don't know how to count, but we have four more now, three, two, and one, bring it back, <clears throat> take that way out and before we go on to the hamstrings we're just going to do a little stretch by um, crossing your legs into like a um, crisscross applesauce but we're going to make it a little bit further out in front of you so it's more like instead of tucked in home we're going to go for that more awkward more uncomfortable position and then let's switch it the other side this is also called box And you can really tell um, how tight your hips are right here. I'm not a runner, but my, my hips think they I am because they really like to not let go. They like to grip and not stretch. Big inhale, exhale. Some people have um, better flexibility than others. So back to those paper plates. Doesn't make them a bad person. They're just normally. I like to say that's just how God made them, just a little bit more, more tight. So I'm folding my mat to get it out of the way. These paper plates, you put your socks back on if you took them off, if you're on hardwood floors, um, or find your furniture sliders. And we're going to place these heels onto these furniture sliders and then bring it down. Oops. So take these feet to where they're about two fists apart. That's about hip distance apart. A lot of people think that their hips are wider than they're not, but you're not. You're going by what your bone structure is. So we're going to squeeze these shoulders down your back by creating like a robot arm with your elbow. Press into the floor. Squeeze, wrap those shoulders down, and then release. Now, pressing your heels. You're raising your toes off, the, off of the floor, and we're going to press through the heels and raise these hips up nice and slow into a bridge. Big, nice inhale, and then we're going to exhale, slowly bring it back. So right now we're warming up. These hamstrings are already should be warmed up, but just making sure they're going to engage. Three, two, and we're going to hold up on one right here. How we did it in the beginning when those planks, we took those legs out and in, out and slide in, out, in out in so you do not have to have your hips really high about one fist off the floor just engaging all right that's eight we have eight more to go if this is too much watch me you're just going to do one at a time right here for four and then for the opposite or you can keep both of them going at the same time. Just do two more. And now we're going to do right and left, right and left, right and left. Really engaging the posterior chain all down your back. Your traps aren't working because you've already adjusted your spine. And so they're relaxed. It's just the hamstrings from the knees up to the glutes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one hold it here lift back up slowly lower down lift up lower down if you if you want to add a little bit more um, difficulty to this you're going to lift up and then on the way down you're going to slide it down lift up and then slide lift up bring it in and lift down bring it in lift and down up and lift three two it's one hold it right here you're going to take your right foot off of that furniture slider or that and lift up extend nice especially if it's in a little ball this left hamstring and glute are still working so press into that heel right here and pretend your foot's a paintbrush we're going to bring it down and then bring it back up you're painting a straight line on the canvas in front of you point up flex down again my hips are not really high do hips go up too high sometimes it goes into the back the lower back and if you have a little bit of lower back pain tomorrow you might think ah I probably went up too high now we're going to hold it up right here and then just lift it's eight this is where we're going to finish we have just one side and then you guys are finished three two one lower back down find that furniture slider sock paper plate extend and lift ah maybe do a little massage if it's all balled up like mine is press to this right heel one fist off this floor and we're paint brushing it's a flex on the way down it's a point on the way up it's seven it's six it's five it's four three you guys have done a great job hang in there too and one hold it right here it's lift 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 six five four three two one lower all the way back down lengthen both legs out in front of you feel that little stretch in the hamstrings um mine feel like little rocks so crisscross come all the way up we're just going to do one little stretch before you go so onto your hands and knees this is a <clears throat> sunbird so we're going to extend this left leg right here it's just going to help engage your core shrug that left leg um, shrug the left shoulder behind you lift the right arm right here inhale and squeeze in reach up inhale and squeeze in nice and tight inhale float this right arm down float this left leg over the right and i want you just to turn and look good and then bring it back and up and over right leg extends right hand presses down squeeze the shoulder blades back into your pocket extend this left arm reach for two bring it in for two so think about those core those abs pulling it in Float that left arm down, float that right leg down, turn and look. Good. One nice, really stretch for these hamstrings before we go. It's a great stretch every single day, especially for that lower back. I'm having a little bit of equipment issues. Ignore my hands down on this mat. You're in a table, toes are tucked, and then press back into a down dog big inhale exhale if you have any issues with your wrist sometimes if you turn the wrists out and the um, the fingertips go out pull hug the belly in inhale reach and just pedal and then just reaching out pedal those heels down like you're walking this dog it's eight seven six five four three two and one reach 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 the tailbone up to the sky nod your head yes shake your head no nice job we're going to come all the way up one vertebra at a time always super slow coming up inhale up and exhale down all right you guys have a great day posterior chain should feel nice and strong if you want to do one little stretch 
for um, your chest as well. That gets a little tight. Sorry, this is a little bonus. I'm going over. Pretend this is a pillow or playground ball, or you can pretend it's a block if you have a block. And I want you to put it um, on your spine, but in the middle of your spine, the thoracic spine. Hips are gonna stay on the floor and you're gonna let that head come down to the floor. It's gonna be grounded. So if your pillow's too high and thick, you won't be able to ground your head to the floor. Then I want you to find something smaller, maybe a rolled towel. Turn your palms up and then let those shoulders slide down your back and you should feel a nice little stretch here. So head supported, hips are supported and we're just opening up that chest. If you've been doing a lot of computer work or I'm not shaming, but a lot of Netflix, I have. So when I'm doing that, my shoulders are rounding forward. So let's just keep those shoulders nice and open so we're not injured when we come back to life as normal. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.